Hello everyone, Justin with 511 Designs on a beautiful November day. This is rare to have this kind of weather, around 60 today, so I'm taking full advantage of it. It's going to get cold here in the next few days, so trying to enjoy this last little bit of sunshine. Anyway, wanted to introduce our newest product. This is something that's been in the works for a couple of years at least. Uh, it's a third function, manually operated by your foot. Um, so let's get right into it and show you what this is all about. Before we get to that, I just remembered that I had some questions about this uh, ballast weight that I have on the back here, so I thought I'd show that real quick. This is basically just a, a work box that I filled with a bunch of steel, followed by concrete, and then a plywood top with some carpet in there so I can still carry some tools. This weighs about 900 pounds, and being back here on the three-point, it really is a substantial amount of weight and seems to be just about right for my needs. Uh, never mind the mess in here currently, but uh, still gives me a lot of room to put some things and it's just convenient. You know, I can drop it off when I don't want the weight and so on. So just homemade. I built the brackets and uh, the mount for it to uh, hook up to the three point, but very happy with it. So to get to the third function when I was shopping for a third function kit when I first got this tractor I really didn't like the fact that every one I saw had uh, electrical components to it switches solenoids and so on and I really didn't want that and also it seemed like a lot of them weren't really specifically built for my machine a lot of them had big hoses sticking up on uh, the right side where the valve is and so on and uh, the mounting locations or the methods of mounting the hoses weren't really ideal for what I was looking for so I came up with this actually I started with a hand operated one as you can see over here this has since been disconnected but I use that for my snow plow and then uh decided that I wanted to go further with this and turn it into a foot operated third function so this has been through a lot of different iterations but I feel that this is very comfortable to use at least for me um, there's a ton of adjustability with it this thing can rotate on the loader mount here it can move in and out this way uh, the pedal actually has a little bit of adjustment that you can move side to side here as well as the valve can also move on the mount underneath it so fore and aft this way very smooth one of the things i really like about it is being able to control the speed of your attachment with the electrically powered solenoid type third functions it's like a light switch on or off you can get reducing uh, bushings to slow it down, but then you're stuck with the slow speed, so you don't have any kind of control with it. So there's very little to go wrong with this system. You know, this valve is, is stout. It should last for many years. You're not gonna get stuck out on a field because of a, a bad electrical component that you don't have a spare of. So, so I currently have this disconnected and if you want to take the loader off, the line just go under here with these clamps. You could also, if you wanted to, have a little less line sticking out. You could coil them up like that. But then they connect up here at the loader arm. This mount is very secure. The hoses are routed very cleanly along the loader arm. And then terminate here for your outlets. All of this is going to be sub-assembled for very easy installation. So this whole hose set right here will be mounted with the brackets and everything. The valve will be mounted to the 
mounting surface or mounting plate that I've designed. Uh, you'll probably just have to mount the foot pedal, but uh, basically attach this whole assembly to your loader mount and run your lines uh, over to the other side here. So I've said that it should be less than two hours to install this, but I think that's very generous. Granted, I have done this a few times as I've made changes to hose lengths and whatnot. This could probably realistically be done in less than an hour very easily. So I'd like to hear your feedback and thoughts. Please reach out if you have any questions. Let me know what you think. Thanks a lot, and you have a great day.